Startup Stories in association with Olook.in. We keep our dreams. We believe it. No matter how big your dream is, make small, tiny steps ahead. When I uh, graduated from universities, and before I, you know, for three years I tried to fill in the universities. So I applied jobs for 30 times, got rejected. I went for a police, they said, no, you're not good. I applied for Harvard for 10 times, rejected. Today, young people, a lot of young people lose hope, lose vision, and start to complain. Because I, we also have the same period. Because when I got, it's not a good feeling being rejected by so many people. We also depressed, but at least later we find the world has a lot of opportunity. How you see the world, how you catch the opportunity. We don't have a rich father, powerful uncle. We don't have one dollar from bank, one cent from government. Just work as a team. Because most of the people, they have a fancy idea but in the day. When they wake up in the morning, they go back to do the same job. We have to do something different. So from there, I started my business borrowing 2,000 US dollars from my relatives and friends. So 1999, I started Alibaba in my apartment. People say, oh, Alibaba model is terrible. Does not make money, have this and that, all the big bad things because Amazon is better, eBay is better, Google is better. And there's no such model like Alibaba in the USA. So I told myself and people, we were better than people thought. And those people who are experts of riding horses, they all fall down and I'm still surviving. So many people I talked to at that time for Alipay, they say, this is the stupidest idea you have ever got. Now we have uh, 800 million people using this Alipay. My advice to the young people, any mistake is an income, is a wonderful revenue for you. So I tell myself and told my young people, before 20 years old, be a good student. When you do entrepreneur, just learn some experience. Before 30 years old, follow somebody. Go to a small company. Normally in a big company, it is good to learn processing. You are a part of a big machine. But when you go to a small company, you learn the passion, you learn the dreams. You learn how to do a lot of things at one, one time. So before 30 years old, it's not which company you go, it's which boss you follow. It's very important. A good boss teach you differently. From 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly when you're working for yourself if you really want to be entrepreneur. When you're 40 to 50 years old, you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to jump into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the, the rate of dying is too big. So 40 to 50, think about how can you focus on things that you are good at. But when you are 50 to 60 years old, work for the young people because young people can do better than you. So rely on them, invest on them, making sure they're good.